moving over now to weather with the man himself on Saturday mornings, meteorologist Jim Siler. I had no idea you were going to join me here yeah, in the pond. You know what's funny is when I was reading that story, you looked at me like, where are you going? <laughs> I feel bad. I don't, I don't have a beverage for you or anything. I feel like a bad host. <laughs> A mimosa. <laughs> oh, my man. <laughs> Please. <laughs> no, I, I, when I walked over, you're just like, where, where, where's he going? Where's he going? It was so funny. The corner of my eye, I try to keep a straight face. <laughs> you're always welcome, man. Is I appreciate okay? it. Thank you for letting me in. Knock, knock, knock. <laughs> changes coming to your weather. Good changes that people are going to be really happy about. As a matter of fact, this might be a good weekend for a mimosa or two. But obviously not when you're on the clock, when you're, you know, at home enjoying your, your uh, after uh, work activities. All right, here's a look at the radar. You can see that things right now are very quiet. I want to zoom in very quickly on the southern portion of our viewing area, basically the Gulf of Mexico. I thought Grand Isle or Boothville might get one of those showers. It's not going to happen here over the next couple of hours. Maybe later on this afternoon, between 4 or 5 o'clock, we might have a couple of showers showing up. But if we do, they're going to be very isolated. Now, your current conditions really don't represent the way that the weather is going to be changing throughout the day today. It's 77 degrees right now, and the dew point is at 74, so it feels like it's 78. But that dew point temperature is going to be coming down significantly. We've had this frontal system. Let's call it a stationary front right now. It's been hanging around really all week. It's going to get a little bit of a push to the south, and the cooler and drier air will be moving in by later on this afternoon, and you'll notice it especially on Sunday. Tropic Watch, Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean are quiet right now. Of course, we have what's left of Lee, which we'll zoom in on in just a minute. Margo, of course, which you know isn't going to impact anyone. Then Tropical Depression number 15, which we'll take a closer look at in just a minute. Here's what's left of Lee. And I say what's left. It's now a post-tropical cyclone. It's lost a lot of its tropical characteristics. But it is bringing some heavy rain to the northeast, although I was checking out the wind observations, some of the coastal locations and some of the buoys. I saw some wind gusts up over 45 miles per hour, but that was about it. All right, let's talk about our tropical depression. And I say our tropical depression because it's the one that's closest to us. But still, it's about 2,900 miles away and it's not going to be a factor. We've known this for quite some time. Here's the forecast track according to the Hurricane Center. Sure, it may become a hurricane here in the next 48 to 72 hours, maybe even Category 2 storm, but all of the computer models keep it well away from the United States. All right, let's talk about the cooler and drier air because this is what you're going to be noticing first thing tomorrow morning. As we go through the day today, look for the rain. Not much, a couple of showers, mainly well south, south of I-10, close to the coast, really. Chance for rain officially 20%. Here come some of the cooler temperature readings. By tomorrow morning, we're in the 60s on the North Shore, low 70s everywhere else. But look at the arrows here. That's that northerly wind that'll be in place throughout the day Sunday. So the high temperature, sure, it's going to be close to 90 degrees, but it's going to feel more comfortable than that. And by Monday morning, can it be? 60 in Bogalusa, that's the coolest morning we've had in quite some time. So the cooler air will be here through the mid portion of next week. Let's look at your forecast for this afternoon. A nice day, but still a little bit on the humid side. Mostly sunny, an isolated afternoon shower or thunderstorm. High anywhere from 90 to 94. Forecast for tonight, mostly clear, gradually less humid. You'll notice it by first thing tomorrow morning, or if you're out uh, late tonight when you come in at midnight or whatever, you might notice the lower humidity then too. Sunny skies on the forecast for Sunday, less humid and a touch on the breezy side. High temperature in the upper 80s on the North Shore, low 90s everywhere else. And look at the mornings. Yes, they're going to be in the 60s, uh, mid 60s, maybe even low 60s in a couple of spots Monday morning. But the lower humidity is going to be the thing everyone talks about. It's going to feel pretty comfortable, I think, Monday and Tuesday, even into Wednesday. Then the humidity starts to increase and our chance for rain goes up to 20% by Thursday and Friday. Two days this weekend. Today's pretty good. Tomorrow, a little bit better. That's your forecast on WDSU. Loving those 80s, Jim. Thank you.